Just a little overview of the Hensolite TDF. I don't see many of these in the videos. This one's running a uh, Scorpion uh, 4035 450KV Hobby Wing 130 Icon 2 BK 7002HVs Tail servo. Let's see it from here. Well, I can't see it. It's the 7005 HVBK. It's way in there. It's easy to get out. It's two screws. Um, servos are linear drive. It's on a gear. So there's a little gear right here. You can see it better on the servo that moves a, a rack. That's <laughs> really neat. The swash is cool. It's so like fat and wide. Um, it's got adjustable dampening in the head, which is pretty neat. Got, I think, four or five oil rings on each side. And this thing that spins, this is just, it holds it in place. You pull it out, put your pin in, push forward or backwards, however many turns you want. Um, frame's all carbon fiber, aluminum uh, tail boom. Um, let's put it on its side. Replaceable tail grips, by the way, or uh, main grip um, arms. So that's nice. Everything's machined out to be super light. Let's see the bottom here is really cool. It's got the uh, one way in the pinion. And the, belt, the belt drive runs right off of that for the tail. It's very easy to change the belt in this right there. Just a uh, pinion and gear. Super quiet in operation. Real nice. Landing skids are pretty darn solid for carbon fiber. I usually don't like them carbon fiber skids, but these have been pretty good. Um, the battery tray is really cool. So as you can see, this is on a um, little tray that moves up and down. There's a latch. So here's a 12S setup. Here's a uh, 7S, which I'm going to show today. I was pretty amazed at the 7S because I was able to get... Um, that's it you just go like that and the battery's in it's so cool super stable um much to say it's pretty neat i'm gonna take it out pop that slides out we're gonna put the 7s in for now okay let's go like that that's it it's one of my easiest battery trays i have this is a Gen Z 7S 5300 milliamp, 35C battery, Glacier. And I ran, I think it was around 10 minutes. So that's pretty sweet. Um, 10 minutes, it hit 1300 RPM max. This tail's a masterpiece. This I just got with zip ties. You can do thread and CA, whatever you want. But it's doubled. So it looks cool as hell. Um, the tail is amazing. This thing, this is the smoothest stuff you've ever seen. Just amazing. Bell cranks on the top. It's got the idler pulley below. It's a huge idler pulley. And the tooth pulley is huge too. It's got to be pretty big because it's running off the main shaft head speed. So that's that's cruising. Got the Chinese weight set up. Um, not much else. It's a pretty simple heli. I, haven't, I was going to do the wiring inside, but I just, I just left it out here with zip ties. I'm not that worried about it. Um, Icon has this little tray, 4649 transmitter here for full telemetry with Icon and Spectrum. Backup uh, satellite. Um, this is the telemetry cable for your hobby wing. This is the uh, signal and power and just power, duplicate power. It's made in three pieces. You got the, uh, or four if you want to really count it. You got your landing skid, your landing legs, your lower frame, and your upper frame halves. It's pretty cool. Uh, mesh is not adjustable. You just put it in and it's just, just I mean it is at least a slight, a slightly adjustable. Because you can only run one pinion on here. You have to choose the uh, focus. You have to choose the um, motor based on what you want to do um, RPM wise. You can adjust the ESC obviously a little bit. But I did a 12S setup, that's why I went with a 450. And I had a 750 motor, but it didn't work out because the uh, 
the motor bolt spacing was wrong, so I didn't end up using it. This brace is so cool where this rack slides, it's curved, it's a stiffener brace. Um, the shaft is 10 millimeters, it uses this plastic spacer because it's 12 millimeter uh, swash, um, probably off the TDR, I believe. Um, it's pretty sweet. It does not have, uses the, uh, Blade Heli uses this, so does XK. Um, doesn't have the, the uh, washout arms. I really like this because it's so simple. Really simple, fewer parts, and it works very well. Uh, this can look kind of ugly in pictures, but man, in person, it's just, it's freaking sexy. And the um, canopy doesn't look good on pictures, but in person, it's just freaking incredible. Um, it's kind of funny. The, the, uh, the canopy is held on with these um, um, uh, clips. Kind of uh, utilitarian, but it works. I was going to put some quick releases, but I don't know. I'm just going to leave it alone. I like it. It's not that slow. It's just a matter of losing these, so I'll have to come up with an idea for that. So let me turn this on, plug the battery in, go for a flight on 7S for a heli that was meant for 12S. See how it does. Um, pick my TDF. Everything's so hard. One-handed. Just showing you right handed. Okay. Hold on. Plug in the battery in. It's nice without 12S, you don't have all these things to connect. We'll let her initialize. Man, this thing's having a hard time focusing. This servo's easy to get out too, it's two bolts. It's super solid, everything. These two are more involved to get out the aileron servos. I would imagine you got to take out the three bolts for the head block, six bolts then total to get it out in there. That's not a big deal, really. I'm not that slow. Um, so let's put this body on. Let's put this camera here. I don't know if you can see anything. This thing goes on so easy, too. It's pretty incredible. And just like that, pop that side, pop that side. And put your little, it's like the RC car days when I was young. Little cotter pins, clips, whatever the hell you call them. And then put that one in. Okay, at least you know it's not going anywhere. Got grease coming out from the uh, grips. Alright, 7S. Let's put you in the holder.